Oh, <laughs> okay. Good to see you, David. Welcome back home. Thank you so much. David, this is, is this the throne right here? Yeah. yeah. Teresa, and that's Jenny over there. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Religiously. I love it. Second three point three, Kansas City is number one hit music station. It's a rockin' and Teresa show. Are you ready, Kansas City? Let's welcome home David Cook is with it. We surprised you with uh, some faces you hadn't Turn seen in a long time. Turn around and look in that window right there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey guys. And then uh, our uh, our old friend Summer. Yes. Uh, Summer, Summer, get over there. She's so scared of the microphone, now, David. We gotta, we gotta talk, David, we got to talk about this because uh, Summer used to work here at the radio station. Absolutely. And I can remember uh, your former band, Axiom, mm -hmm. all of us hanging out, like the haunted houses, passing your CDs, CDs out. out. You're you walking down the hallway. It, man. Have, have, have a nice it. day, cafe. And uh, Summer was sharing with us earlier how excited you guys were just because you got in the haunted house for free that year. <laughs> <laughs> what was that about? Yeah. I, I actually have kind of an aversion to haunted houses. I can't handle them half the time. So I, I think that was the one where Everybody else went. Is my right, Summer? Everybody else went, and I actually stayed, stayed outside. Kept yeah. passing out CDs because uh, I'm hardcore. Like so, David, what's it like? We saw you on TV today. To come home today to this, we had Randy Jackson on our, on our show earlier today. Yeah. He told me to tell you you're the most talented. He wishes you good luck here. Yeah. Uh, who else? Catherine McPhee. Catherine McPhee, Ellie. I mean, they both are Elliot. fans. We saw you on Fox 4. You are a good weatherman. You have something yeah, to fall back on. Yeah. What was that on. about? You were Man, great. I'll tell you what. I, I didn't realize I could do that. I like how you just said, this is rain, and here it is. <laughs> it's right here. Here we go. David, here's a, here's a little bit of uh, Randy Jackson earlier. Okay, awesome. Oh, they were so cool, dude. Is it, it, it weird to come home because you lived here? You've, you know, walked around the malls. You walked around without security. Now you're like the president of the United States. It's yeah, uh, like a big motorcade. It's I'll, I'll tell you what. It, to to be able to come home and have um, really just the level of support is just crazy. Sorry. No, it's Aww, okay. Yeah, right, dude. That's awesome. Um, we're so proud. Do you want to go hang out at the haunted house again? No. <laughs> <laughs> um. You know, you. I, I grew up out here, obviously, and and you know, I played the shows to five people, and I did all that stuff. And so to be here now is very, um, <laughs> it's very amazing. It honestly is. You know. I mean, look to your right, dude. Look at these little kids. These are. These, these are I mean, from from uh, grown women to young kids. I mean, dude. This is happening, in, you know, this, people don't understand, we saw the work you put into this. This wasn't like this happened overnight. No, no, it's not. Um, but, uh, you know, that's what the show is. It, it's, it's, a, it's a springboard to, to hopefully being able to do what I want to do the rest of my life, no. which is... Uh, do you really you think know, it's not going to happen? <laughs> I mean, do you really <laughs> think it's not going to happen? Well, never say never, but, you know, if, if, uh, if the whole music thing doesn't pan out, maybe I can come out here and... And, and do weekends. And, or be a weatherman. <laughs> you know what, though, David? Be a weatherman, yeah. You know, we, we, we love you and support you no matter what yeah. because you're our hometown boy and we are so happy for you. Thank you. But honestly, we're not just saying it because you're from here. You are amazing and you are impressing so many people on the show and we're just really enjoying watching you every week grow. And I loved the Phantom of the Opera that oh, you did. Thank you so much. You know, we love that and we love Mariah Carey. I mean, you just have really done a good job. Um, I'll tell you what, a lot of it, I, I refuse to discount luck. I said that on Fox earlier today. It's uh, it's just a lot of things that you have no control over just falling into the right place at the right time. You know, it's, it's the songs hitting me when they hit. It's uh, the themes hitting when they hit. Um, you know, it, it's uh, there's no rhyme or reason to it. And, and I'm here on a mix of, of just hard work and opportunity, honestly. Where were you when you decided, I'm going to go to Omaha an audition for American Idol because there's several thousand people and to realize that of all these thousand, dude, you're left with three. Our very own Swank tried. He didn't make it. And Michelle, they were there at the same place you auditioned. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, and, and it's funny because I've actually talked to the production staff about that first audition and they've, uh, and they've admitted to, to some degree that it's just that that more than anything is luck. It's just at the right judge at the right time. And you definitely don't want to go first because then they got to set the bar based off of, you know, where you're at. So, um, but, um, yeah, I think I think for me it's just been a mixture of, uh, of being who I am and, and having the right songs, but uh, 
I definitely did not see this. David, I have to David, ask. Let's, uh, t let's talk about these uh, songs and how you make them your own. Right. Mm -hmm. You're covering these songs and making them your own, and I think that that's the main thing that makes you stand out above all the other contestants. Now, let's, it, now let's listen to uh, when you covered, and we get a lot of requests for this at the radio oh, yeah. station, to play uh, your cover of Mariah Carey, Always Be My oh. Baby. And uh, this is uh, Mariah and uh, Randy Jackson after your performance on, on Idol. Now, our very own Kelly Urich uh, kind of has a tie-in with this, with Mariah Carey and you. Uh, uh, by the way, dude, you're all choked up here. I just want to say, there's not a person in this room that's not choked up watching you perform. Oh, it's yeah. true, dude. It's the coolest thing ever. I mean, we all... Uh, uh, we're going to shake it out. <laughs> shake it out! Do you want me to make out with you? <laughs> Talk it out! Talk Why it out! Not? Let's do it. My, uh, my old roommate, though, is good friends, close personal friends with Mariah Carey. Talked to her the other day. Um, she demands that you release that yeah. song. Too. You have to. Yeah, yeah that's a great I idea. So. I think that should be number one. The requests uh, are insane. Okay. Did, yeah. you ever <laughs> think, did you ever think that you would be covering a Mariah Carey song? No, I, I didn't. Um, but I, that was just a song that, that struck me the right way. You know, and I talk about just, I talk all the time about vibe. Like if a song doesn't strike me immediately, if I don't hear something that I can do with a song, I usually just back away from it. Uh, and that song. You know, she, she put it in this pop format, so it was very, like, upbeat, but those lyrics are, you know, they talk about just no matter what, there's there's always going to be this love between two people, mm -hmm. and that's ethereal, man, that's, like, basic <laughs> stuff. So, um, you know, to try to recreate the mood around those lyrics, it was actually really easy for me, just because, you know, it's there. Yeah. Um, and, and, and that's really kind of the plane I've operated on, like, if, if I can find a song that'll hit me immediately. It's just a matter of finding the right vibe to spin it in my direction. So. Well, you're doing a good job. Man, Thank you. What, what, is it like, what was it like coming home and walking down the hallways here, this, which you've been here before, mm -hmm. uh, to the Chiefs cheerleaders, bro? <laughs> I mean, and come on! Uh, and the starting we 11, the brigade, brigade girls. I mean, We've wow! elementary kids and the older kids. Life, I'll be honest with you. Life is so tough. <laughs> <laughs> Because I remember back in the haunted house days and the and the club days when we were hanging out yeah. and it was just like going, is she looking at me or you? She's not looking at either one of us right now. <laughs> yeah, she's like, like, past, past, past us. us. <laughs> trying to figure out one of my tickets. That's all she was doing. Now you've got a room you, full of beautiful yeah. women waiting yeah. for you. Wave at her. And some beautiful yeah, men. Yeah, please take a picture of her. That's ridiculous. I love it. Um, no, honestly, uh, you know, for me, it's and Summer will obviously attest to this, I hope, uh, before all of this, I was happy doing what I was doing. And so, um, you know, I kind of fell backwards into the show. To, so to be where I'm at now, it's it's all icing. You know what I mean? I said when I made top 24, I've already won. You seem like you're staying good very you. real. Good. Uh, man, that's, I good. Just, that's the thing. I think I, I think some people's downfall on this show is, is um, you know, they try to be who they think is going to work. Right. As opposed to being themselves. And, and the American public is not nearly as unintelligent as most people <laughs> give them credit for. And, 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 you know, they're smart. They get it. Right. Um, and so, you know, you just got to be who you are. And if it works, it works. And if it doesn't, then... You know what? I think it's working yeah. for you. Well, maybe. You know, it's freaky because about, about American Idol. Right now, more people know more about David Cook <laughs> than they do the presidential candidates running. I mean, they really you do. You look like the president they when you saw your motorcade. They know more about David Cook than I know about David Cook. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's a trip. Well, we know that, uh, you know, they're rushing you out of here and you have a big, big day today. Uh, yeah. Remember, everyone, he's going to be down at the Power and Light District. I'll be joining you down there at 11 o'clock. Yeah, going to be hosting Wonderful. and then you'll be out all parades, everything all day long today. Right. Have fun at the Royals game. and um, I'm yeah, hoping that Mother Nature everything. cooperates. And, uh, so far, it's been a little dreary this morning. Before we let you go, David, there's a lot of people who can't make it out there, and the fans are out there. The Airways, this is the most listened to radio station in Kansas City. What do you want to say to people in Kansas City? Um, I, well, you know, I, there's nothing I can say. I mean, thank you is so trite at this point. Um, so, uh, 
please come to the show on August 29th at the Sprint Center, and I will do everything I can to show you guys how much I appreciate all you've done. Yeah. Honestly. Yeah. Awesome. David Cook, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> David Cook! David, David Cook! Cook. Great job, man. Oh, yeah. Good to see you again. Have fun today.